Hey guys, so today is the Dragon Boat Festival for all y'all Chinese out there. <laughs> so I have this little script that I hand I, I've handwritten and I'm going to be reading it aloud to you and it's basically the legend slash story of the Dragon Boat Festival. Okay, let's get started. It's going to be a boring lecture. <clears throat> The Dragon Boat Festival is a traditional festival slash celebration, which is during May 5th on the lunar calendar. <clears throat> it's celebrated to remember the great poet Chu Yuan. He was very successful if, and became the number one counselor and minister of Kingdom Chu. During the warring period, Chu Yuan had made King Chu aware of the horrifying threats from Kingdom Qin. But King Chu hadn't listened, but rather ignored the warning. <coughs> Sorry. Because King Chu hadn't taken action, Kingdom Chu was soon defeated by Kingdom Qin. Kingdom, uh, the, King Chu was captured, and after three years, he passed away in the dungeons of Kingdom Qin. Devastated, Chu Yun fell into great depression. He committed suicide in a river. The villagers frantically searched for Chu Yun's dead body, but to re- prevent fish from feasting upon his dead body, the locals threw glutinous rice dumplings, now known as zongzi, into the river. So that's how the tradition of eating rice, pyramid-shaped rice dumplings with different fillings became a part of this festival. There are also other traditions such as dragon boating. So, we don't have the money for dragon boating, but we do have the supplies for zongzi. So let's get rolling into the cliff. Clap, clap, clap. In my family, apart from the tradition of eating rice dumplings slash zongzi, we also um, have decided to buy some shrimp, and we are going to make a yummy dish out of it. So we will share it with friends and family to celebrate. Yay! Take a look. Why can you can? This is called zhongzi. There's no English translation. So basically, this is a pyramid or triangle shaped um, <clears throat> dumpling. Uh, it is made with rice, sticky rice, and different fillings. On the outside, it is it, it, it could be it is wrapped with leaves and. When you cut the inside, it comes out as a pyramid shape. This是什么色呢?豆沙。豆沙。豆沙。来看一看啊。那你这个包这个粽子花了多少时间? 你不用再剪那已经断了就可以了 Oh, so basically in the Zhongzi, um, <clears throat> this is what it looks like after we unpackage it, unravel it. Um, this is um, beans and um, sticky rice. So let's do a taste test. See, this is how it looks. Mmm, appetizing. And there's this one, which has a sao inside. Yes. And this one, it's um, this one's on the inside, but this one, it's it's um, the yes. beans spread all over the rice. So yeah, yummy. <laughs> Dragon Ball Festival, so we are celebrating with some shrimp. Ooh. Shrimp night be like, aha! Oh, so many.
Jenny. Look at all that goodness. Five kg. Okay. Look at all that goodness. Because today is the Dragon Folk Festival and we're gonna celebrate with some friends. Y'all. Yeah. So for the Dragon Boat Festival, we are making zhongzi. Yes, for zhongzi, the ingredients are... Mm, so these are actually um, of your liking. So you don't have to put these if you want to make zhongzi. It's just of a preference. This is glutinous rice. That is the specific rice you need to make zhongzi. There are red dates and um, red bean paste as well as ban um as well as a few leaves <clears throat> but the leaves they are also of your liking so it could you could either have bamboo leaves or reed leaves yes mother let's yeah. see let's see let's see oh that's smooth smooth Now she is tying it up so it doesn't fall apart. And then the palma. Now for the Chinese translation. We 那个粽叶咯嗯粽叶粽叶嘿嘿嘿嘿然后要是也不一定需要放这些我们就是选择要放这些你可以放肉啊什么都可以反正你自己喜欢就行了嗯吃妈妈的下一个回来发给弟弟